Hey everybody, um, so good good news, it's race weekend. Um, today would traditionally have been a setup day at the racetrack. We're racing at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway um, for our Grand Prix race. Uh, it's also gonna be a very cool weekend because IndyCar and NASCAR are racing together, same track, same weekend. First time it's ever been done in history, so um, very cool weekend to be involved with. Normally I would be at the track getting set up for a day like today, but I'm doing something different. Uh, this weekend around because of the whole COVID situation we're not allowed into the track until tomorrow um, so I'm actually going to go up and do a little appearance with the American Dairy Farm uh, Farmer Association with Indiana and Michigan I'm going to go visit the Keenert Dairy Farm which is uh, pretty cool because it's run by Andrew Keenert um, who is a huge racing fan and uh, he's a sixth generation farmer uh, he actually got to serve the milk to Simon Pagano last year when he won the Indy 500, so it uh, should be pretty special. I think we're going to have some fun, and uh, we'll show you guys around. So uh, Andrew was showing me around in here. This is their main barn, uh, holds about 250 cows. Uh, most of their uh, most of their cows are, are milked uh, with machines now. They still hand milk some cows, um, but all these all these uh, ladies in here, 250 of them. This is where this is where the magic happens. Pretty cool though. Very. Uh, it looks it doesn't look like there'd be a lot of technology in here, but there's so many little things that they've done just to push like the feed up with these automated guiding systems. It's it's really quite high tech actually. He's trying to be a slide, slide as a breeze. Got about 46 horse. Does that mean you have 46 horse? No, it's got 46 horse. It's about 96 cow power. <laughs> so this is the baby section, the little baby barn. Um, it's where all the calves go. Uh, they start learning about technology too. They get automatically fed through machines over there. Um, there's about 75 in here, so super cute to see the new life getting ready to be uh, big cows one day. So, I never thought I'd be talking about how cows get milked on my YouTube before, but this is really cool. So, like, they, the cow walks in. It gets its uh, gets its teats clean, which is very very soothing. I think the cows like it. And then you, they get hooked up by lasers with the milk suckers. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they're called. And then they just enjoy the process. And then they're out of here. Until next time. This is a, this is hilarious, yeah. but like amazing to me. These cows, they yeah, know to come in to to get service, they love it, and then they leave. And then the machine's like, please leave me a good Yelp review. Hope you enjoyed the service today. So guys, real quick, just a little background on why we're here and, and uh, why this is pretty cool today is um, the tradition at the Indy 500 is the winner drinks milk. Um, if you know anything about the Indianapolis 500, you'll know about this tradition. If you don't, uh, the winner of the race, um, it's celebrated to, to get a jug of milk. And uh, for me, that would be a dream come true. I'm a big dairy guy. I love milk. Um, so it would be really cool to win the race and get that reward. But the, uh, the partnership between the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and the uh, American Dairy Farmer Association is, uh, is really special, really deep rooted. So to see a you know, family farm like this and to learn about their process, learn about where the milk comes from, uh, I think it makes it a little bit more special if you're able to win the Indy 500 and to know the history of it. All right, guys, we're getting out of here for the day. Uh, different for me, you know, normally I'd be at the track on a setup day, uh, but since we can't get in, we got to visit the Keenert family. And thank you so much to them. Got to learn a lot about dairy farming. Uh, what a wonderful family. Great, great farm here. Um, so it was a blast for me. I'm ready to get back in the car tomorrow. A um, little different day for me, so I hope you guys stay tuned in, and we're going to show you a little behind the scenes at the track. 
My name is Brad Keener, and Joseph Newengarden is the best IndyCar driver. Why is that? Because he's just the best. Checks in the mail, kid. Yep. Nice work. Thank you.